واحد اثنان ثلاثة أمي أمي ما أحساها هي في قلبي لا أنساها أدعو ربي طول اليوم ربي ربي أحفظ أمي Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on Thursday, March 5th, and I am here with the Arab Mothers Association. Uh, I'm Huda Al-Mansouri, AMA president. I'm Nisreen Dandashli, uh, Arabic language uh, coordinator. I'm Ola Abdo, I'm the secretary. <laughs> I'm Alessandra Carta, I'm a, I'm a member, I'm so happy to work with these Arab moms. <laughs> Uh, I'm Inel Darwish, I'm a board. Rania Sabah, member of AMA. Shara Al Muftah, I'm a board member. Hala Dagher, also, I'm a board member. Arab Mothers Association started two years ago, and it started with a passion by these moms for bringing and understanding a greater awareness of Arabic culture and language to the school. All of you are moms here. Let's spend a couple of minutes talking about activities that you have done and why you believe that they are so important for our students. Uh, this year uh, we start, um, like every year we have a, a, an agenda. Our agenda is also with the school agenda going. Uh, but we focus more on the events, uh, on the Arabic culture and the Qatari culture. Uh, this year we um, celebrate, the first event was Eid al-Adha. We celebrate it with the decorations in the corners and with the class parties. Uh, our second event for this year was the International Week. It's uh, a big event in the school uh, running for one week and AMA, um, uh, we put a tent, a Qatari tent uh, that has uh, so many activities uh, during all week. Every day we had something uh, different, performers from uh, um, <coughs> different Arabic countries, uh, including uh, Razif from Qatar, Dabke from Palestine. Uh, additional to that, we had the Falcon, the Hinna, uh, the live station of how uh, we do the Qatari bread. Uh, our third uh, event this year was the um, book fair, Arabic book fair, and it was the first annual uh, Arabic book fair in ASD. Uh, we're so proud that we could make we, uh, we could make it. We were able to do it. Uh, <coughs> also, it was for like four days with uh, three publishers coming from uh, Lebanon and UAE. Uh, also, we had uh, the pleasure to invite uh, a Qatari uh, author. Uh, she had the three books in the book fair, and she came and she signed it uh, for the kids who uh, bought the books, and she read it for them. Um, and then there was the tent at the Friendship Festival, um, which was also a new addition, and because Arabic culture was brought into the Friendship Festival. So I'm, I'm going to open it up to anyone. As you think about your children, and you think about the difference that you believe AMA has made in their understanding of Arabic culture and language, as well as their sense about the school, what kinds of things come to mind to you? I think volunteering at the school is good for our children no matter what, but especially if they are studying Arabic at the American school, an extra, any extra help from the parents and their support and all the events that are different and in Arabic this year, um, they have really helped our children um, be more enthusiastic about learning Arabic and it's showing. And I'm very proud to work with Huda and Emma and I hope we keep working and we have great ideas and we help the children. Anyone else? Uh, I think AMA uh, helped a lot of moms that were a little bit more quiet in the school, had them more come into the light and meet more moms, Arabic moms. And uh, this helped also their kids to be proud. Their moms are here, they see their moms in school, they see them in the tent, and uh, when, when they feel they're part of, of a big culture, the Arabic culture, I think they're feeling so proud. And I think that's what helping our kids as AMA. 
I want to add something. Uh, AMA is proud this year to uh, for the um, donation we, we, we could make it. It was in our plan since we uh, start as AMA to enrich the school libraries with uh, Arabic books and resources. And this year AMA donated uh, 10,000 real uh, to buy books for the elementary school library and the high middle school, high school library. Uh, and so this was our occasion um, with students singing songs and reading poems and um, expressing in words to you their appreciation for your work. It was also the school's attempt to say thank you for all of your efforts. Please know how much your work means to us and how you have been so important in adding to our understanding of the culture. We see it in our students. We do indeed feel that um, they have great pride, and as well as those non-Arabic students gaining a much greater understanding. And so on behalf of ASD, AMA, thank you for all that you do. I want to thank you for <laughs> You're not, that's, it's not in the, it's not in the podcast, today. <laughs> Please put it. I just want to, Thank, a big thank you for Dr. Deb for all your support. Uh, I think AMA start on the right time under your leadership because uh, you, you are supporting for us all the time and uh, without you, we couldn't make it. Really, really. Thank you. And that's Sahifa this week. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>